Good morning. Today is day 31 and you're watching my daily vlog. And I'm moving. Today's moving day and I'm doing the last of my packing. I'll show you my stuff. So far here's all the stuff that I've packed up. That's not too bad considering that's the stuff in the lounge room and the bathroom and the majority of the stuff from my from my um, bedroom and also kitchen stuff. Um, so basically I have my beddings left, my computer and printer. Um, taking those folders because it's my sheet music. Got to do my hangers, got some electronic stuff and my important files as well as more sheet music. So it's not too bad considering considering what I have to do, but um, it'll be more of a problem finding a park here to load my car because I don't have the swipe to get downstairs into the car park. So basically, that'll be a bitch because I might have to park all the way wherever just to fill up my car and leave, whereas at the other place at least I have a buzzer, so I can get into my car spot there. But yeah, moving is a pain in the butt. So, let's keep going with this. I shall keep you updated, and we'll see how we go. Bye. I have started to move some stuff down to the car, and I was greeted by a lovely car that decided to park me in. I will show you that when I get down. But, I decided to write them a lovely little message. Please kindly go back to driving school, as you have clearly forgotten how to park. Unless you want a damaged car, I suggest you park further away from the car and in front of you and not in front of my a driveway. Thank you for making my moving day less stressful than it already is. Hey. This day is not going. Let me show you how close they parked. Okay, so this is how much room I've got to work with. Yeah, like I'm really gonna get out of that space. At the front it's not too bad. I mean like that's pretty much normal, right? But still, I have no room to work with. So, I've got the shits, because that's how much room I've got to work with. So, it's now starting to drizzle. It's been crappy weather lately, so I don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice but to chill. So, let's keep going. Check this out, um, Judith, it looks like Judith, I don't know if you can get focus, looks like Judith has sent an email to CQ University News, and they want to do a story on me about the show, so that's nice, but um, so I've just emailed that to, I forwarded that email to Ryan, and Ryan's going to reply back about it this afternoon, but yeah, still just showing my wrist is really hurting now, um, this one in particular, um, it's just like twinging and tingling with, I think it's a nerve thing, so, it's really hurting, so, I'm definitely going to take a break for now, it's not like I really have a choice anyway, because I can't move my car. So today is the day we deal with idiots, I just went down to get some Subway, Subway, eat fresh. I've got a pizza sub with some cookies, and I told the chick that I wanted cookies, so she told the cashier that I wanted cookies. He didn't give me my cookies. I had to ask for them again. Like, really? Listen? He seemed like a new newbie, which is even worse, because when you're a newbie, you want to be on your ball. No? Okay. Well, time to eat. I don't want to spend money on food on or on takeout, because I won't have to do my groceries tonight. But, I have to do, I need to eat, I'm starving. But yeah, just sort of have a little rant. I fell asleep, waiting. So I decided to go back downstairs and try again. And, didn't happen. The guy's still there. Seems like he's moved it slightly, like a few centimetres back. But it's still not enough room. I could probably try, but knowing my luck, I'll probably still ruin his car. Doesn't look like he's actually touched my note, 
so I don't know how that's happened because I haven't exactly moved my car forward. But yeah, I don't know. And it's even if he does move it now, it's too late for me to to go because I have tr uh, the meet and greet for EA Games coming up in like an hour, like just over an hour. So. I'm gonna. Well, it's not exactly like I can really get ready for that because I've, I, I can only do with what I've got. I have to go like this. I'll probably put my winter jacket on, my winter coat on, just to make me look a bit more dressy. But it's about 11 o'clock now, but it feels like it's 3 in the morning. I'm fucked. This is the state of my room at the moment. I tried blowing up my bed. Turned out the the electric inflator air pump that I had bought doesn't have a wall unit input thingy but instead it's got a cigarette lighter for the car but I got the foot pump doesn't work either because every time I pump it the air doesn't even go in you can just get stuck back out so I don't know what I'm going to do I'm not happy here Definitely not happy here. Definitely don't want to be here long term. I want to move out ASAP. So it's sleeping on the floor for now. Till I can get an air pump in the morning. Probably from Big W because Kmart wasn't a help. And I don't know when I can get this vlog up. I guess I'll just see what happens. That's all we can do. Learn the lessons that come with the experience. I'm tired of being the traveller. That's, that's all I am. I'm a nomad at the moment. I've been a nomad my whole life, it seems. I'm going to say goodnight now. Bye.